Hi everybody, I'm Claire from Rainbow Acrylics. I'm going to have fun tonight, I'm so excited. I'm going to do a rainbow. Um, rainbow Acrylics, I love rainbows. I love just bright colours, bright, bold, vibrant colour schemes for painting. So what better than a rainbow? Um, the painting I'm going to do tonight is inspired by this piece, which I did recently. So this is Dutch pour consistency paint in lines and then I've just blown the paint around using my breath um, and that way I've got a lot of control over the paint. So with this exact technique, I'm going to do a rainbow. Um, I've got my colours out here, I'll show you in a second. I have got 25 colours. So um, three or four colours per band of the rainbow. So there's a lot of paint here, a lot. It's, it's, it's mad, it's crazy. Um, but I'm really excited to, to try this and see what happens. Um, so let me show you all these colours. So here they all are. Um, excuse the slightly messy pots, um, but this is how I store my paint. Um, so let's start at the beginning of the rainbow. So reds, I'm going to list all the colours in the description. I'm going to try to. It's going to be too complicated to explain it all now. But I've got two different shades of red here um, and I've got the copper. Um, I've also got here the pearl white, but the the pearl red, which is the Amsterdam um, um, pearl colour and it's got a slightly red, you can't see it here, it's got a slightly red tinge to it so I'm going to use that. So for my orange band I've got um, an orange, a more yellowy orange um, and the um, this is the bronze. Then the yellow band I've got a couple of different yellows and the gold. Greens, um, iridescent green there and then the blues and for the for the blue and the green, I've got again another Amsterdam pearl colour, and this is the pearl blue. So I'm going to add that to both of the the green and the blue band of the rainbow, and then some purples um, and some pinkier colours. And again, I've got the um, per, uh, Amsterdam pearl violet colour, which I'm going to add. So in every band of the rainbow, there will be some pearlescent white because I love pearlescent white. I love the shimmer it gives. Um, and I've got at least one other um, iridescent colour in each band. Oh, actually, no, I haven't in the purple band. Right, I might have to look at that. Oh, actually, you know what? I won't have one in that. I'll, I'll just have the, um, the pearlescent white. Um, so all of these paints I have mixed with this American Flood Flow Troll. I'll put the um, recipe in the description. Um, so, yeah, let's get started. The canvas I'm using is um, 20 inches by 16 inches. You might be able to see, if I hold this a little bit closer, that there's lots of lines on this canvas. So I've already drawn a rainbow. So I've just drawn um, seven or eight concentric circles to create the seven bands of the rainbow. So the, the design of this is that it will start obviously quite small down here, but then I don't want to see the whole of the rainbow. I want the rainbow to go off the edge of the canvas, just for a slightly more abstract look. Um, so I've drawn it on. Obviously, I'm about to now pour white paint all over this, um, so I won't be able to see it. But what I've done underneath is just drawn around the canvas and I've drawn the lines that tally up, mark up with, with these lines here and at the side. So it's just going to give me a rough guide. So I'll start with... Um, the, the smallest one. I used just a, a little pot to get the shape of that. So I will line it up with the lines on the, my piece of paper once the white's on and then I'm going to use that as my guide for the, the first ring of paint. So let's start with the white. Um, just to show you the consistency. It's lovely and runny, really nice and runny. So you'll see that, I think you can probably see, it goes straight under the surface of the paint. There's no mound as the paint enters the surface. Very, very nice and fluid. Um, I've put push pins in the back of this canvas um, and then I've just checked its level by putting my spirit level. Um, oh, let's just use it all. Oh. But I'm putting my spirit level in the centre and also along the edges. So let's hope that's enough white. I'm going to use my hairdryer to cover the canvas.
Right, so I've checked, I'm ready to put my colour on. I've checked the order of the, the rainbow colours and the pinky and purples are in the centre with the red around the outside. So I had to check because I know I've done this before, a rainbow before, and I got it the wrong way round. I'm not sure it really mattered, but it, it was wrong, so I, this is better. So I'm just look, I'm lining this up with the little markers that I've got on the on the page here. So that is going to be the white center for my rainbow that's marked out by that area right so let's get the I'm going to start with my pinkier colors so I need to work out how I'm actually going to get this paint on to the canvas and whether I use my stir stick let's try that and um, what I like to do is put them into my silicon cups with because I can then pour it more easily but I just don't have enough of those and this many paints, I'm just not, I don't really want to get those out. So let's just try it with the stir stick first. So I'm just trying to go as neatly as I can around this plastic pot so that the paint is going on at about the same distance from the pot all the way around. All right, I'm just going to take that off. So that's going on quite well with the stick because I, I don't want too much. I think I'm going to stick with that plan. And then I'll move the paints out the way as I've used them. A little bit of the pearl violet. I just just because I love the shimmer that pearl white gives. Right, that's my first band done. Brilliant, that was quite easy. So now I'm going to go for my um, more purpley colours. So again, I'm looking at my markers here. This is where it's going to start to get a bit tricky. I'm just going to have to do it by eye. Right, all my colours are down. Um, I'm quite happy so far. Um, it didn't go quite as I planned because I planned to have some white space at the top, but that's clearly not happening. <laughs> um, the colours, especially at the bottom, they have spread out quite a lot. So the, I think the idea really is that the all of the bands will touch, so it will it will blur in. Um, so yeah, I think I think I'm happy. So I'm just going to start here. And just I'm gonna I think I'm gonna have to keep moving the canvas around to get the best angle, but I think I'm just gonna to start in the middle and see what happens.
Wow, I'm so happy. It's worked. So I've got work to do on this. It's not finished, but the concept is there. I'm really pleased. What I want to do is just close up now some of these white gaps in between. Um, and I need to really concentrate on the thickness of the bands because the, the pinky and the purple ones here are thinner. So I think I'm gonna start on those first. I'm gonna blow the pinker one in slightly and then this purple one in and out just to expand it. Um, the blue, the green, the yellow and the orange all seem to be about a, a good even thickness. The red's um, a little bit thinner. So I'm just gonna spend some time blowing around um, to get the, the right composition now, to get the right um, layout. I've finished blowing around now and I'm much happier, really happy. Um, I've just closed up some of these white gaps um, and I've just tried to get a much more even thickness band on, on all seven of the bands. Um, one final thing I'm going to do um, is just, I've got a paintbrush here, I'm going to use the ends of the paintbrush just to do some little tiny twirly bits um, where the white spaces are in between. I'm happy for the white to show through but I'd like it to do slightly less so I'm, I think I'm just going to do some little swirls, let me just um, try and see what happens. Yes, love that, absolutely love that. So I started in the colour and then I just went through the two colours, so I'm not starting in the white. So it's going to just draw it all together. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I really like that. So I finally finished twiddling around with it. Um, I'm so pleased with it. Um, I had an image in my head um, and I, I think this probably is the image that I had um, with the exception of the twiddly bits. I didn't imagine those, but I'm so pleased with those little bits. Um, I have not torched and I'm deliberately not torching because I don't want all the little speckles. Um, I think if I torched, I'd get some more cells but I don't want to risk getting all the little tiny little white speckles. Um, so let me show you. Um, so I guess if anything, I'm slightly disappointed with the lack of cells, but it just doesn't matter because you've got these just wonderful bright bands, but all with varied colors. So, I mean, look at the greens, the, de the depth of the, that dark green, as opposed to the, the light and the same with the, the, the blue, in fact, all of them, the purple. Um, I love these swirly bits, especially where you've got the blue and the purple, the two different colours next to each other. And it's just dragging the paint from one band to another. I'm really pleased with it. The yellow band is quite subtle. And I did worry that it was too subtle when deciding on paints, but I think it has to be. There's no real dark colour in there. The gold's the darkest. Um, interestingly, the most cells are in the orange and the, um, this section here. You've got the most, most cells there um, and then the red. So I ended up adding a little bit more of the red just to get a deeper edge to the rainbow. Um, oh, I'm so pleased. Um, I'm very, very critical of my own work. And if I'm being very critical, it's not totally symmetrical. Um, and I just hope that doesn't matter. Um, so we'll just let let this dry, see how it see how it dries. Hope it stays the same. Um, and then yeah, I'll be back once it's dry. This has dried absolutely perfectly. I'm so pleased with it. Um, it's kept its shape nicely. It hasn't moved while it was drying, so it hasn't distorted the curves. So happy with it. It's just such, such a happy, happy painting. Um, the details of the colours are just gorgeous. So, um, as I said earlier, there's not lots and lots of cells, um, but it does not matter because you've got this a wonderful just variation of colour. Um, I just I just love within each band you've got just the different shades of those, of that colour. Really, really pleased with these colours. It's just so pretty. I love that little bit of white um, poking through between each of the bands. Um, I, I think it's the green and the blue that I like the most. They're just so deep and rich. Um, and I'm really pleased with my swirly bits because as I said earlier, it just connects everything together really nicely. 
yeah so so pleased so I was think, trying to think of a name for this painting um, and then it hit me there's only one very obvious name and that is rainbow acrylics so this is my rainbow acrylics painting um, after my um, art name um, so thank you so much for watching let me know what you think of this um, any any comments any ideas any questions please just um, leave them under the video um, and if you like it do hit the like button Thanks for watching. Bye.